Hi, this is Melissa Steubenberg of Kailani Farm. This is the first vlog of Hoku for the U.S. Event Horse Futurity 2021. Hoku is a 2017 thoroughbred mare that I'll be presenting with Sally Cousins. I've always been a big fan of the thoroughbreds, especially off the track thoroughbreds. Pictured above is Keahi, Jockey Club Dark Plum, who carried me around up through Intermediate and then took his next owner up through Grand Prix show jumping. My love for the off the track thoroughbreds caused me to study thoroughbred pedigrees to get a better understanding of which ones are successful in sport. I've occasionally purchased yearlings before they entered the sales or race training. Above are the pictures of Hoku as a long yearling that was sent to me by her breeder, Four Brush Farms in Kentucky. Now, purchasing a yearling off of pictures alone is certainly not for everybody, as yearlings can be quite goofy looking. I had the benefit of knowing Hoku's full brother, American Ride, otherwise known as Harley. These are the pictures on which I purchased Harley as a three-year-old when he just finished his racing career. Four Brush Farm had reached out to me when they were willing to sell Harley and asked if I was interested in purchasing him, and I was. Over the course of several years of work, Harley has matured into a gorgeous stamp of a horse. This is Harley at age six now. Harley has matured into the phenotype that I aim for in my breeding program. My hope is that Hoku will eventually join my broodmare band and produce some wonderful sport horses. Hoku and Harley are by the Dynaformer son, American. The pedigree of Hoku and Harley are loaded with good turf type thoroughbred horses that I've known in the past to produce good sport horses. American himself was the winner of the Melbourne Cup and seems to produce a wonderful type of horse. When I look at him and then look at Harley and look at Hoku, I can see a lot of family resemblance being passed on by each of them. And so my hope is that when Hoku is bred, that I'll be able to predict what to cross her to in order to produce a top event horse in the future. While Harley and Hoku's pedigree is chock full of great sport horse thoroughbred lines that I want to see when I'm looking for future breeding, you also want to make sure that the confirmation is there and not breed forward any potential flaws. In this video, I'm hoping to show a little bit of Hoku's what I consider quite good confirmation. She has a good thoroughbred shoulder, a well-defined withers, um, quite a bit of bone, particularly for a thoroughbred. Hoku, I assume, will take after her brother and be quite late to mature. Harley grew a full hand coming off the track, and Hoku is now already over 16.3, and I suspect, like her brother, will be well past 17 hands. While a bit taller than I consider ideal for a sport horse, the family resemblance between Hoku and Harley is uncanny. Here are pictures taken from Hoku's first outing after being backed. We took her on a cross country just for her to hack around while her brother schooled. This is where they demonstrated to me the overwhelming family trait that I consider most important, good brains. Harley has them, Hoku has them in spades. If anything, she's braver and has a better mind than even her brother. This was her second outing in February, many months later, where we took her to a little dressage show. The warm up was a little bit dicey, as it was snow and ice on the ground outside. This is an indoor she had never been to and she'd never been to a show. And she lived up to her name and was an absolute star. At the end of the day, confirmation is great. Pedigree is important, but brains are the ultimate most important factor in any sport horse. So Hoku, like her brother, has demonstrated to me that they have the brains that I want to produce a top sport horse. Without these brains, it doesn't matter their athletic ability or their confirmation. They're going to be difficult to produce and to be internationally competitive. While both Hoku and Harley were originally bred to be racehorses, their race breeder was not breeding for what was going to be commercial. They were breeding for what they thought would produce a very good athlete that while unfortunately didn't end up being as successful at the racetrack as they had hoped, both horses are of such type that I think they will be successful as event horses, where we're able to take a little bit more time in producing them um, and breeding them up to their full potential. My aim in entering Hoku in the futurity, besides bringing along a, what I consider a very nice event prospect, is to show that good quality, well-bred thoroughbreds are still here in the U.S., and they may be obtainable. And if you're lucky enough to buy them as a yearling and bring them along, they'll be as competitive as any purpose-bred sport horse.